Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on this pretty bracelet that I had created um, for my design team project for Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. So let me go ahead and get started. So these are the supplies that you're going to need to create this bracelet, charm bracelet. Um, <clears throat> you are going to need some pliers. So um, I'm going to be using two of them. Um, of course, the Christmas Bake Sale charm set. It is so cute, so inexpensive. I will leave the link in the description box if you, you would like to purchase this. Um, I may want to pick some more up because it's just too adorable. And um, you can create this project for really cheap. Um, you can get this chain. I like this particular chain from Charm Along uh, Bead Landing. It's this one right here. Now my Michael stopped carrying this, so I don't know if your Michaels will have it. I do know, however, that they do have it online because I did look it up because um, I was looking, you know, specifically for this one because this one works for my wrist um, because of there's no clasp. Um, all you need to do is to pull this way and then pull this way to um, to make it wider. I have very small wrist, so um, mine comes to about that. And there is a total of 19 links on this one so what you want to do is i usually start in the middle right here and then i'll work my way out um, just because um, i only have this many charms this many beads and so um, i want to make sure that um, that's enough to cover the whole uh, bracelet so um what I do is, oh, and then you'll need some jump rings. Now I'm going to use the, um, I think they're six millimeters, but they're these. And make sure you have a nice thick gauge. I don't know how many gauge this is. If this is, I'm sure it's not even 820. It's probably like a, well, it could be maybe a 22 gauge. I don't know. Um, you just want something strong so that it does not, you know, come off. And then I did uh, wire wrap these. And um, I can show you how to do that quickly. For the purpose of this video, I've already wire wrapped my beads and I've already put the jump ring on them as well as the jump rings on the charms. Um, that way it's just it's easier to put together, but let me just show you how I wire wrap these um, You are going to need a head pin or one of these ball pins the ball pins tend to look prettier um, in my opinion So this is how it looks like um, See that it just looks prettier to me um, However, if you don't have that you can just use a regular um, head pin um, it is harder to wire wrap these though because they are pretty, um, they're not as pliable as, um, is it artistic wire? The ones that you use to wrap. Um, <clears throat> but since I wanted to use the ball pin, that's the one I used. So you're just going to go ahead and put that through. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and I'm sorry, you're also going to need, I forgot I'm wire wrapping. You're also going to need one of these round nose pliers. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. There's wire wrapping tutorials, you guys. So um, I'm not an expert at it. I, I do wire wrap um, occasionally, but um, <laughs> it's not it's not really my thing, but um, I do like the look of it. It's just, it is kind of harder to do, but sometimes I will go ahead and do it. So you're gonna, of course, create your loop like so, and then, and then you're gonna just wrap that around 
and I usually do about three three revolutions around um, it just depends <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's already three wrapped around it, but I'll go one more time. And then you want to also get your wire cutter. And this is the one you want to use because this one cuts nice and flush against your... Um, your bead here okay and so and then of course you want to just make sure you kind of flatten that part that you just cut off just to make sure it's not sticking out and you're not going to be stabbing anybody with it okay all right so it's not perfect but that's my wire wrapping right there and then you're going to go ahead and take a jump ring of course and this is where i need two pliers because otherwise i mess up my fingers or my nails go ahead and open that up and plus because i'm using a nice um you know pretty fat gauge um jump ring sometimes it is hard to you know open and close so it's good to have at least two of these pliers okay so then yeah that's how it's gonna look okay when you wire wrap so let's go ahead and put this together so like I said um, what I do is I find the center okay and there's 19 so if I count 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is going to be the center right here. And that's where I'm going to start. And then you just choose whichever one you want on the center, which doesn't really matter, but I, I just usually uh, I'll choose the, the biggest one. And then we're going to go ahead and, like I said, I already have the jump ring on this if you don't have it yet it doesn't come with the jump ring okay just to let you know when you get the charms so you do have to put your jump rings on there all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my chain the center of my chain link well the whole chain okay and that's it look how cute that is right and it just depends on how many links you have but you want to of course um, make sure everything's even so um, you know I'll do that um, I think what I ended up doing to make sure that it covers the whole uh, wrist um, what I did was to alternate. I, I, I will space it out with uh, two links. So here's the link here, right? Here's this link. That's where the charm is. And then I'll count one, two. And on the third one, that's where I'll put this next one. And then in between, I'm going to put a bead on there. So again, from here, here's the one that has the charm. I'll count one, two, three. And again, it just depends on your wrist, right? But if you're using this particular class, a uh, particular chain, then um, that's where you'll want to. Is that right? I think so. That's where you'll want to put your... Um, your charm okay and then and you just keep going so I'll go ahead and put the next one so I have this one one two three so 
every third chain that's where I will put the charm and then close that up so see how simple that is you guys okay and okay the right side is done but then you want to also put your beads so as far as your beads um, since I only have two red ones I don't know I couldn't find a, another one um, I'll start off with white and then red here and then another white one here and then with this one I'll put red and then white in between and I'm missing another red right here but that's just how I'm going to leave it but if you do have another <laughs> red bead then you could put another one at the very end so it's whatever uh, beads you want to use whatever colors you choose I like um, I like just using the red and white with like the gingerbread I just think it looks classier than if you were to make it you know too colorful and add greens and things it just depends though on how you want it okay so then um, so I have three links between the two charms so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the bead right here in the middle and then like I said you're just I'm just gonna alternate the red and the white bead So this is so much fun. I love the way this looks and I was inspired by, um, I think I mentioned it before, by um, another charm, I mean another charm bracelet that I had bought and that one I think I paid 20, 22, 25 dollars, something like that. And this <laughs> here is only costing me for the charms it's about three dollars and then for this it's about four dollars but you can you know use a coupon at michael's for the chain and then if you already have jump rings you know it's <laughs> so inexpensive and these are great for um holiday gift giving you know and you're not breaking the bank so And it looks really pretty, you guys. Really pretty. Okay, so we're almost there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and again put the charms on the left side. So we're gonna count uh, three spaces. Just takes it does take a little bit of time but it's um, the chain uh, you know charm bracelets are really easy to put together because really you're just adding the charms one two three so I'm gonna go ahead and put it here and if you don't want to even put the beads you don't have to it's it still looks pretty you know even without the beads but um, these charms are just a must-have you guys <laughs> I can't tell you that enough because I love them so much I don't know and you know it's nice that it's already a set you don't have to think about it You don't have to think about getting you know different charms it's like it's a set and that's what you're going to use you just have to add your beads if you want to all right so now we're going to add our beads and i might just have to speed this up because uh well i don't know i'm at 11 minutes right now not too bad so I know I said I was going to um, do a tutorial on the earrings, but um, I think you guys like the bracelet better or 
I got more comments on, you know, how pretty the bracelet was. And somebody actually did ask for a tutorial on the bracelet. And that's why I'm doing this video. Okay. And then... And then I would add one more, but I don't have any more. <laughs> I don't have any more beads. Okay, but anyway, that's it. That is it. So look how pretty. And then um, you would just... So easy to put on because it doesn't have a clasp. And all I do is hold one side with my one hand and then I pull... And then make it tight and there you have it look how pretty isn't that pretty it's kind of hard to see that way but it would actually look like that hanging so that is my tutorial for today i hope you guys um, were able to find it helpful and Yes, if you haven't picked up this Christmas bake sale um, set, you need to. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.